Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you a recent purchase I've made of another vintage Lego set. The first thing I'm going to say though is that this item, although the box is slightly damaged, I feel should have been packaged in cardboard or in another box. I can feel it being bubble wrapped and I realise it's got a fragile sticker on it but I still feel it should have been put into a box or some sort of packaging that would have ensured that it wouldn't have got damaged further. Anyway, let's carry on and unpack the bag. Christmas all over again. There we go. This is Lego set 256 as you can see on the box. This is actually 256 stroke 1 and the set name is Police Officers and Motorcycle comes under the theme of building set with people when it was released in 1976. I think it retired in 1978, I'm yet to be corrected. Uh, and I say that because these are the old style minifigures, or maxi figures as they were known. And the new minifigures that we know today came out in 1978. Um, it's a 86 piece set. But doing my research, there was a few sites that varied on the quantity. So perhaps once this is fully restored, I can count the piece and confirm how many there were. Actually retailed at the time at £3.14. Um, and nowadays, if it's new and sealed, it's worth somewhere about £26.14. Uh, but a used set like this, in reasonable condition and complete, of course, is worth about £16. So, as you can see on the bottom here, there's a B. Now this means that there were two versions of this set. This one was released in Europe, UK, Australia and Canada. But the US had their own version called Police Patrol. And that was set 192 stroke 1. It is worth a bit more money than this one. Not sure why, perhaps it's because it's harder to get hold of. Each set contains three maxi figures and a motorbike with instructions. You can tell the difference between each set purely by the B. The American version doesn't have the B. So now you know that if you find a vintage set with a B on it, there's going to be more than one version. So be careful when you buy one. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Yeah, so it's already made up. And, oh look, what have we got here? That looks more like Grandma. And I would say it actually is grandma because she's got black arms and not white arms like it says on the box. All three figures should have white arms. Um, black at the top, white underneath. But this one, as you can see, looks more like grandma. Okay, so we know there's going to be some restoration need doing. That arm came off pretty easy. And that one is off for now as well. So, as for the rest of it, 
Shall we see if we can build it? Oh, hang on. We've only got three helmets. Two helmets should have three. So let's have a look for the instructions and then we'll see how we got on with the build. As you can see, there are no instructions with this set. So I had to go onto a website called toysperiod.com and print some off. Printed them off in black and white. Probably wasn't a good idea, but I was just trying to save on some ink. Okay, so the end figures are basically all the same, all three of them. Um, no, two of them, two of them are the same. And then we'll see what's missing. So we just put the instructions out of sight and see what we got. So we got one, two, three. Some of it's already built. Do you know there's actually quite a bit missing out of this? Uh, top of the figures are here. So at least we have one whole figure. Like that. Don't think we've got another whole figure. No. So we got the belt missing, or the white piece missing. It goes around the middle, we've got the side belt. And maybe we have the top half of the second figure. So we've just got those two white ones missing, and we've got his hat. So not quite, but nearly, almost there. Um, and so now let's make the motorbike. And I dare say there's a lot missing off here as well. Um, I did actually look up this font is um, serif bold and not sans serif. So let's try and take these apart. Follow it with the instructions so we know exactly what's missing. Okay, so back a bit. The police signs there. And one there, making sure that the police is on the outside. Uh, the next step is yellow at the front. Mm. Oh, here we go. That bit there. That bit there. There, right here we go. Keep this bit together. Three. And the black bit got on the end. Step three. 
So we have one of these missing. Okay. Um, oh, we've got two of those missing. Another, oh no, here we go. So that bit goes there. Should have another one there. We should have another two and then a four. We don't seem to have the two, so that's missing, and it's a three on there, not a four. Turn it over. We have another piece missing here. We have a wheel, and we have a black four, and they've, begin, they've given us a black wheel instead of a white one. So for the moment we'll put the white black one on, turn it over. Now this is where a lot of pieces are missing. So we're missing another black 1x2 stud. We've got this, but we've got nothing to attach it to. We've then got a yellow piece instead of a white piece. It needs to go on there. Can't attach that. I've got three white studs missing. And then we've got the other figure that we don't actually have the arms for. Or the face for at the moment. So let me see if I can get this off here. Yep. I can attach that to that. Now just need some arms, oh and a face and a white helmet. Got the stop sign, two of those, and I think that's just an additional Lego flag. So we've got a few additional bits, and um, we have got some pieces missing. We've got the blue studs missing off the front as well, which I presume are the sirens. Okay, now as you can see I have got a bag of spares and there were, there are some pieces in there that are some of the white hands, the white arms and there's one of the heads. I don't have a white helmet but I know I have one hidden somewhere. So let me get these out. It's one. Two. Fits quite well. Yep, okay, so there we have it, not quite finished, now a little update, I've gone and searched for some parts, and I do have some, so first of all we have the head for this police officer, so we've now got a matching head, don't have the helmet, 
but I can replace the yellow with the white and also on this one I can make him looking like this one like he should do so what's that three up one there one there put him back on and put his belt underneath so now they're both looking the same and what else oh i did make a mistake because the instructions are in black and white this red brick goes on at the back and therefore that frees up one of these that goes on the front so we have one of these slope and that goes in there like that now I've also managed to find some of these now before anyone says anything they're not vintage as you can see the older style ones don't have the holes in but for the purpose of the video I'm just going to use these for the moment and I'm sure that goes on there What else? So I have one of these now and the handlebars. And the little man. Just missing his helmet. And he's gone on the side. One, two. So all we're actually missing now are the blue studs that go on the front, the vintage red white studs and a white helmet. Let's put those to one side. don't know why he would be holding that like that but there we go let's stand this one up and there's the box so what we're actually missing out of here the instructions the white helmet which i know i have in my vintage box but that's at the bottom underneath everything else and the vintage studs white ones and the blue vintage studs and the white wheel now i do believe i have all of that in my vintage box but that will be for another day once I can manage to get out of there and find it all okay thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share